What's going on guys? Steve here. Got a, um, don't have a back issue haul this week. Um, I did pick up my current books um, for the first time back to back weeks at my local comic shop. Um, I did not have any back issues come in. Um, you know, I'm kind of telling off a little bit here at the end of the year. I do have one coming next week. Um, that's pretty good size. Got some good books in it. Um, just trying to curb my spending here at the holidays. Um, I did um, I did get rid of a lot of my uh, my duplicates and stuff that I had up in tra some trade videos. Um, uh, my guy that I, I met at the con, he ended up buying a crap load from me. Um, so I'm going to end up flipping that money and getting a very special book that I've been chasing. Hopefully if all goes well, I'll have it next week and I'll show it in the video. But uh, I decided to do that. Um, you know, like I said, one of my things is when I'm doing these trade and, and for sale videos, I'm just trying to get books that I don't have. Um, you know, when I've got two and three of a, of a book, you know, it's not serving a purpose. You know, I'm not, you know, it's just taking up some room. Um, you'll see in this Alpha Flight video, I have, I still have a lot of doubles. I got doubles of a lot of these books, you know, and I probably end up putting them up, you know, for trade or whatever later on. Um, you know, I might do a, do another one. I'm not sure. I might get some more books up to, to trade or whatever. But uh, <clears throat> anyway, um, I had a busy week, weekend, um, busy week. It was, it was a long week. And um, we were busy yesterday, had some stuff going on. And, um, you know, just, uh, just a lot of stuff going on this week, weekend. So, but I did get to, uh, going to the con last weekend, um, I was able to complete my Alpha Flight run. Alpha Flight was one of my favorite superhero groups when I was a kid um, just because they were different um, you know uh, you know they had a lot of uh, appearances by Wolverine um, you know Wolverine was real big in the 80s he still is but I mean he was really blasting onto the scene in the 80s and uh, Alpha Flight kind of gave a backstory to Wolverine that really caught my attention. Um, I, was, I was a Guardian fan, Vindicator fan, uh, you know, so it really, it, it you know, I liked it. Um, and, uh, and also, you know, I didn't get to get all of them because <clears throat> for some reason, my fights were, were kind of, you know, they were kind of, exp not expensive, but I just I was so behind on them when I discovered them that you know as a kid you know I couldn't go in and get all the ones I needed. <clears throat> of course, fast forward to being an adult, you know, have a little bit more cash flow now. I'm able to complete it, and I'm really really glad to got that that one done. You know, and I've had a good year. Um, you know, this year um, as far as getting some runs completed. Uh, I guess past year and a half, I got <clears throat> all of Captain America done. I think I've got almost all his volumes done. Um, I'm pretty sure I do. Uh, I got Daredevil done, volume one, two, and three. Um, you know, just a lot of smaller ones. Um, I'm trying to think, Invaders, I got completed. Um, you think here, <clears throat> Marvel team ups I got completed. Uh, you know, working on Iron Man. You know, West Coast Avengers is completed. Nick Fury, Agent of Shield is completed. Um, you know, I've got a lot of stuff done. You know, and I got a lot more stuff to do. But I'm really, really stoked that I'm, I've had a good year. You know, um, I got my sights on some. I get some of these smaller ones like uh, you know the Alpha Fights, New Mutants, stuff like that done. You know, um, and I'll be able to tackle, you know, the two that I'm, I'm that's really kind of out there um, is Avengers and X-Men. Um, I only need about probably less than 100 Avengers. I've got issue two, um, but I'm going to need one, and of course I need four and, and the rest of them. Um, but, um, 
you know, I'll, I'll tack, probably tackle that this next year, probably X-Men as well. Um, probably Alpha Flight before X-Men, or not, excuse me, I'm, I'm sitting here staring at Alpha Flight, Avengers before X-Men, um, because that was my, my, my all-time favorite superhero group. Them and, well, them and X-Men, but Avengers I really, really like. <clears throat> Plus, I'm closer to that one than I am X-Men. X-Men are probably about 120, you know, but those, uh, those first, I don't have any of the first five I know of, so, I mean, it's going to cost some money. But anyway, guys, um, sorry to ramble. I just didn't do, hadn't done a video all week. Um, there's some good videos out there. Um, uh, my buddy Tom Ryan, he's got a, um, he's got a, uh, autograph video out, and, uh, I haven't read or haven't watched all of it yet, um, but I will. I'll probably end up watching it tomorrow. I usually watch a lot of videos during the week because I'm at work. And I can turn around and, you know, put my earbuds in and, uh, you know, watch, listen to uh, to a lot of videos. And, uh, you know, so on the weekends, we're usually running pretty, pretty good. So, but I check everything on the weekends as well. But anyway, without further... As a comic nostalgia would say, without further ado, um, here are the uh, the books that I've got, my Alpha Flights. Um, of course, the first issues of uh, Alpha Flight, you know, the legendary John Byrne did them. Um, so here's issue one, issue number one, two, issue number three, and the good thing is about about these first issues there's a lot of first appearances um i will say uh the first one i think i know it's the first puck i think it's the first tundra you know and a host of other people probably on that cover um you know a lot of first appearances so that's that's the real cool part about it you know um but uh anyway three this is always one of my favorite um covers right here as a kid I just loved all the lines. But uh, there's three. I'll have another three. Guys, you'll see a lot of probably a lot of duplicates in this one, so I apologize. Four. <clears throat> Four. Got issue number five. Five. <clears throat> issue number six. Seven. Number seven. Eight. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure that. Another eight. A lot of these books here are going to be up for trade, you know, or for sale. These Alpha Flights. I know a Misky 361 is looking for a lot of these. Nine. I know he's trying to complete his Alpha Flights. <clears throat> issue 10. There's a, issue number 11. Um, this uh, this is actually the first appearance, I think, of uh, Diamond, Diamond Lil and uh, Wild Child. And there's a couple more, I think, that's in here. <clears throat> Uh -oh. Looks like I'm missing 12. Nope, there it is. So there's 13. That was one of my favorite covers right there. I remember seeing that as a kid. <clears throat> there's issue 12. Another 12. Another 13. Let me get these in order while I'm done. <clears throat> issue 14. Another 14. 15. Oh yeah, um, Marana. That's the uh, that's the other one I was thinking of as the first appearance in issue number one. <clears throat> There's 16, 17. So Misky, if you're gonna watch this video, um, you know, and you need any seen any duplic duplicates of the Alpha Flights, just let me know. Um, so there's 18, 19, <clears throat> 20. Because I know he's working on his Alpha Flights. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. <clears throat> Another 25. And also, at some point, I've got to, uh, 26. At some point, I've got to get reorganized um, in my comics. <clears throat> you know, this last year, my, my collection's grown quite a bit probably grown at least 
25% probably 30% um, and I'm just that's and that's another big reason why I'm getting rid of a lot of duplicates is just trying to make some room <clears throat> 27 but I've got to get more organized I don't know if I'm gonna you know, I've got about half drawer boxes and half long boxes just standard long boxes and uh, not a big fan of short boxes I hate lugging long boxes around but I'm not a big big fan of short boxes either um, I'm a huge fan of the drawer boxes from uh, Comic Drawer go to comicdrawer.com and check them out they pull out um, I've got about 35 of those long long drawer boxes and I love them I mean they are awesome <clears throat> very awesome because you can stack them on top of each other and tack, stack them as uh, I think as high as six six high and uh, they're sturdy and you can pull them out you know but I've got half and half and uh, the, the drawback with the drawer boxes is you know you're gonna pay I think it's about six bucks or whatever yeah but you're gonna pay just as much for the boxes as you are for shipping um, they come five to a, a case and they, they're huge you know so when you get them shipped here they're big and uh, that's the drawback I mean if you bought you know if I bought 25 of them I think it was gonna come out to like four hundred dollars um, is it worth it in the end yeah I mean I, I do believe um, you know <clears throat> especially when you got a your your crunching for space so so yeah <clears throat> so I got to get more organized you know 28 issue 29 30 another 30 31 got 32 all-time favorite cover right here is issue number 33 got the X-Men um, you know uh, on the cover couldn't go wrong in the 80s you know this was was awesome there's another 33, 34, another 34, 35, <clears throat> 35, 36, 37, another 36, another 37, <clears throat> 38, 39. I'm still a big believer that buying lights is uh, the cheapest way to... Uh, is definitely the cheapest way there's 40 to get to get books um, unless you're going to a con um, you know I just refuse to buy a book for you know five dollars or whatever you know if I'm at the end of my collection trying to fill that hole I will but uh, you know a lot of times you can buy five or six books for the price less than the price you'd pay for one 41 so I still believe that is the way to go 42 43, 44, 45, and I think this is the, uh, I won't say 45 is the death of uh, Snowbird, I believe, I'm pretty sure, I think it is, <clears throat> there's 45, 46, another 46, 47, 47, you know, for some reason, I don't know why, but when I was a kid, you know, the covers on comics that would always freak me out a little bit was always like uh, anything viney, uh, kind of like uh, like on the X-Men, Uncanny X-Men. Anytime they were battling like the brood or whatever, you know, the alien looking creatures, you know, always freaked me out for some reason. I don't know why. Um, I guess because aliens always kind of freak me out a little bit. But there's 47, <clears throat> 48, another 48, 49, 49, 50, another 50. <clears throat> here's 51. Um, and this right here is actually issue number 51 is Jim Lee's first work at Marvel. Um, it's also, I believe, the first <clears throat> first time he did Wolverine. Because we'll bring in this book right here. So, yeah. So, pretty cool. 51, 52, another 52. Another 52. You see what I'm talking about? You see a pattern here? 
Let me get a little bit closer, guys. <clears throat> There's 53, 54, 55, another 55, 56, 56, 57. <clears throat> I miss you. Oh, let me back up. I was missing one. Because that reminded me of it. <clears throat> 56 is the first appearance of her, which is actually the Dream Queen. There's 58. Another 58. Got 59. 59. 60. 60. 61. 62, <clears throat> 63, 64, 65, 66, 67. Yeah, what well, was funny when we was at the con last weekend, 68. We were at the end of our, our con experience. 368, it's like. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, I had a budget I was going with, and, um, we were down to the last, last vendor, you know, that we were looking at, and had a bunch of dollar books and stuff, and, and I'm sitting there, and boom, there's a whole lot of Alpha flights. So I pulled out the the, the big binder, you know, and uh, my son's looking at the binder, and I'm going through, and he goes, "You need this one, this one." So I'm pulling them, you know. I know I've got this a, a set amount of budget, and I've got this, you know, only brought a certain amount of cash with me. I said, once the cash is done, it's done. And uh, so I'm sitting there, and I, uh, we're going through these books, and boom, where he's marking them off. And finally, we get to the last one I needed. Boom, and we mark it off. And that was it. The funds were done. It was the last amount of cash we had. And it was like it was just meant to be. Alpha flight was done, you know. So I thought that was pretty pretty cool. 369s. Um 70, 71. I'm glad it worked out that way. 71, or 71, because uh, you know, I really wanted to walk away from there, from you know, to complete a run. 72, another 72, 73, first 70, or another 73, 74, 74, because you know, that first vendor we hit was a 25 cent vendor. And it was like, bam, bam, bam. I mean, I was seeing all kinds of good stuff. and uh, But uh, it was real kind of, wasn't a, uh, what's the word for it? It wasn't a, a map to my madness or whatever, you know, because it was just like hit or miss. I was just seeing so many good books. I think next year, or well, the next one, I think I'm going to have a certain amount I'm going to spend for 25 cent books, a certain amount I'm going to spend on dollar books, and then I'm going to have some money for some, to make some deals on some other books. 75, 75, 76, 76, 77, another 77. <clears throat> I'm just scoot this up a little bit, guys. But yeah, um, definitely gonna, gonna have a better budget, 78. Plan it a little bit better, 78, 79, <clears throat> another 79. 80. I love hearing about you guys, um, you know, your con experiences. You know, I think the, the leaders, you know, Captain Strange Life Hippie, um, my good buddy, uh, Comic Quarter, um, 410, you know, he's the king of going to get the, the autographs. He said he's an autograph whore. Um, but um, really learned a lot about, <clears throat> about that stuff from you guys. 81, 82, <clears throat> 83. Yeah, I've talked to, to Comic Hoarder quite a bit, and, and uh, I know he's going to a con. Um, he's in the Baltimore area. Um, it just seems like there's a lot of, of cons around his area, you know, because we're, you know, deep south, and uh, there just is not a lot of cons. I mean, we might have two two and one is the one I went to last weekend and the other one is you know more of a swap 84 85 <clears throat> 86 86 87 88 
There's another 88. Issue 89. 90. 91. Another 91. Ninety-two, another ninety-two, ninety-three. <clears throat> Keep hearing somebody outside. That's what I'm doing. Ninety-four, <clears throat> another ninety-four. Just hold on one second. Six, ninety-six. Sound like a car door was shutting outside. So I was trying to find out who it was. Ninety-seven, ninety-eight, ninety-nine, one hundred, one hundred one, one hundred two, one hundred three. Good-looking cover right there, U.S. Agent. There's one hundred four, another one hundred four. 105, 106, of course everybody knows, and I didn't know because I didn't know, I was when I was a kid, you know, you're kind of oblivious to stuff like that, um, but this is the issue where North Star comes out that he's gay, you know, to each, you know, their own, um, 106, <clears throat> 106, 107, Look at that cover right there. 107. Got issue uh, number 108. You know, I can't even remember on the North Star issue, you know, because I, like I said, I wasn't aware of it, you know, of what kind of impact it made on comics at the time. Because I'm trying to think about when that issue actually came out, what year it was. And I can't remember if anything. <clears throat> 1992. So it was. It wasn't in the 80s. I was just trying to remember if it, it wasn't like a it had an impact when it first came out. Can't I can't remember if it did or not. All right. So there's 108. Issue number 109. Got issue 110, 111, another 111, 112, got one, another 112, 113, 113, uh-oh, 13, probably gonna need 114, you watch. Well, looks like I might be on the hunt for some books. Yep, here they are, right here. Okay, let's get these back in order. Okay, let's see here. Got 113. La, la, la. 114. Got 115. Another 115. 116. 116. Got issue number 117. Really like the artwork on these. Looks good. There's 118. 118. I always like the Wrecking Crew, you know, Thunderball <clears throat> and all those guys. I always like those. All right, got 119. Got 120. Got 121. Got 122. Got 123. Another 123. 124. Yeah, when I was going through those books, 124, and I was like, 
where's these books at? And I started looking through them. I was like, damn, I'm, I have a whole, I, saw, I was like, I'm going to have to cancel this damn video because, <clears throat> you know, missing one book's one thing, but hell, I was missing like three or four, you know. Hell, did I get off that bad? 125, 126, 126. A lot of times, you know, when I go through this in a video, you know, it's the first time I've looked at a lot of these covers in a while. You know, 127, 128, <clears throat> 129. So, you know, in past videos, it's not uncommon for me to go through a video and boom, miss, be missing a book. I think I did my Daredevil like that. There's 130. And then we got the annuals, issue number one. Annual two. Another two. Then we got the uh, Alpha Flight Special. There's that one. Then we got the flashback, which is uh, minus one. So there's that. But there's another special. <clears throat> I guess I don't have. I'm going to check into that because I don't have all those. So I was only aware of, of one special. So I'll check into that. But there's one and four of that. Now we're going to go into. Uh, the other volumes of Alpha Flight that I have, what I've got of them, I'm actually, I am going to complete these. Um, <clears throat> got a volume two. This is volume two, issue number one. Issue number two. Got the other cover for two. Issue three, four, five, six. I'm trying to think about <clears throat> what, how many each one of these have. Hold on one second, I'm looking in the binder. Looks like there's 20 of them, but there's uh, issue 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, missing. <clears throat> Missing 16 and 17. There's 18. Then we got uh, this is volume three, and uh, there's 0 0.1. Issue one, two, three, four. Issue five. I think I got all of volume three, six, another six, <clears throat> seven, eight, nine, I like that homage to uh, Days of Future Past, ten, there's eleven, twelve. Yeah, I've been picking up these books here um, when I see them. Um, Alpha Flight Fear Itself. <clears throat> There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. All right, guys. Well, that does it for my uh, <clears throat> my uh, Alpha Flight collection. Um, like I said, I only need, looks like I only need four issues out of, uh, volume two in the annual. And, uh, then in that Alpha Flight Special, I guess it came out in 91, I need issues two and three. So, and then I'll have all the Alpha Flights. So, anyway guys, I appreciate it. Um, you know, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing. Um, you know, I hope everybody's had a good weekend, a good week. And, um, 
you know, keep on collecting. Um, you know, like I said, I've got some stuff coming end of the week or first part of next week. I'll have it probably do a <clears throat> probably do a video probably Tuesday, probably if it uh if it all comes in. Um, got some good stuff. I'm trying to hit up some. Uh, really trying to hit up some some good nice key issues. Like I said, I got rid of a lot of my doubles that I had up for for sale and trade, and uh, you know I've got some pretty good money for it. So I'm gonna turn around and use that money to buy a special book. If all goes well, I have that sometime next week. And uh, but anyway, um, appreciate it, guys, and um, you know check out everybody's channels. Um, you know. Uh, like I said, Tom Ryan's got a got a good collection video up. I haven't watched all of it. I watched a little bit of it. I'll watch the rest of it tomorrow. And uh, you know, Comic Quarter's got some some good ones out. And uh, of course, everybody else out there. So anyway, I'm out. Um, have a good weekend and uh, rest your weekend. Enjoy it. And uh, I'll talk to you guys during the week sometime. All right. See ya.